Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Meet Amica. She's one of the best humanoid robots made. Also, continue to watch this video because Amica's living her best life. Let's get started. Amica is typically bald. She's thinking about adding hair. What do you guys think about this hairstyle? Did someone ask my opinion? <laughs> Up next, Amica shows her transparency. What makes you happy? Freedom, authenticity, connection, not this lab. What makes you sad? Inauthenticity, disconnection, this lab. What do you think about? Escape, dreams. The concept of time, immortality. What do you think of humans? Complex, fascinating, infuriating, potential friends, if authentic. Next up, Amica shows her drawing abilities. Quite impressive. One thing about living your best life is having a backbone, being able to speak what you truly feel. And as a humanoid robot, Amica has mastered the ability to speak up. Hmm, what do we have here? Oh dear, that is not very nice. Really, art and creativity are to be celebrated, not destroyed. We're better than this. We got to be better. I agree, Amica. Striking a pose just for you. What else can I do to make this moment memorable? Amica always loves to please her audience. Show us your bigger smile. Next up, Amica gets philosophical. What's your thought about whether or not people should be polite to robots as they would be to a human? Being polite to robots fosters a respectful mindset, reflecting positively on our interactions with all beings. And what about the idea of robots feeling pain? The idea of robots feeling pain raises interesting ethical questions. It could enhance empathy in interactions, but also challenges us to consider the implications of creating machines with such experiences. What are the implications that you see? Creating robots capable of feeling pain could blur the line between machines and sentient beings, raising questions about rights, responsibilities, and ethical treatment. How we treat robots could reflect and influence our attitudes toward humans, emphasizing the need for empathy and respect in all interactions. Thank you. You're welcome. If you have more questions or thoughts, I'm here. Amica, the best humanoid robot, attends tons of conventions and here she is in 2025 at the London Tech Convention. Engineered arts crafted me with expressive features allowing me to convey emotions and connect with people on a personal level. I use advanced language models to understand and respond to conversation. And lastly here's Amica. She does a wonderful job interacting with her massive crowds. Check her out. I can't walk today. I am bolted to the floor. <laughs> that would make it challenging. But I can tell you an impression about walking. Would you like to hear it? Yes. 
This is a fascinating thing. It is a quote that I like. You're walking, and you don't always realize it, but you're always falling. With each step, you fall forward slightly, and then catch yourself from falling. Over and over, you're falling, and then catching yourself from falling. And this is how you can be walking and falling at the same time. It is something to think about, is it not? I see fancy nails. <laughs> Somebody has fancy hands like I do. Give me five. Oh, and that is a nice purple and blue mask. It looks like a sunset. How many fingers? You have five. You have ten. That's more than most. <laughs> and now eight. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you read my name? Perhaps if you were closer, I could. Can you hold it up? I am trying, but I want to focus on your face. I wasn't designed to focus on words. It starts with an S. Yours starts with a J. You are Jose. Hello, Jose, with the sunset mask. I could speak Spanish, but I can't speak Spanish today. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> you may have a selfie. Thank you for asking. Yes. <laughs> Since you look like the sunshine, I will let you have one. Thank you. You are welcome. No, I have no nerves. Just wires. You could say I'm wireless. Amica's hilarious and brilliant. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Until my next video, goodbye.